Hi folks, and welcome to Impactful Life. My name is Rob, and this channel is devoted to helping you make an impact so you can lead a full life. Now, if you're new to this channel, thanks for taking the time to check us out. If our videos make an impact on you, hit that subscribe button below. Now, for those of you that have already subscribed, welcome back, and thank you for your continued support. I can't tell you how much we appreciate the impact you're making by helping us grow this channel. Quick question. Would you like to be more productive and have better control over how you spend your time? Well, if so, stay tuned for this week's impactful book review. We'll be right back. This week's impactful book is Give Me a Break, The Art of Making Time Work for You by Hugh Culver. Now, I'm a big fan of Mr. Culver's, and I have been for some time. In fact, his blog was one of the first blogs I ever subscribed to, and I still follow it to this day. If you've never heard of him before, let me just say he has a very interesting life story, and I have found his approach to personal productivity extremely useful in my own life. If you want to check him out, I'll put a link to his website below. But let's talk about his book. Now, I have read a lot of books on time management and personal productivity, along with dozens of articles and videos. I kind of consider myself a connoisseur of this type of information because I can't get enough of it. I am constantly looking for ways to improve my own personal efficiency, both at work and in my personal life. For me, it's always about getting more done. And most of the things that I've read or watched have given me some really useful tips that I tried out and, and I could kind of see if they help. But this book was different because it focused more on the why and it made me think that maybe there's just a little bit more to life than getting more stuff done. It made me realize that taking a good hard look at what's important is more critical than finding shortcuts to save time. The author does an excellent job of laying out the blueprint for getting control of not just how we spend our days, but how we should be spending our lives. Now, if you often find yourself at the mercy of the clock, wondering where the time went or feeling like you just never have enough time to get everything done, you need this book. Even if you only adopt a few of the many strategies that he lays out, you'll be amazed at the results. I have only begun to employ some of his ideas and I already feel like I'm taking back control of my days. I have a plan and I'm executing it and I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt this way. Now my two biggest takeaways are first, you need to take a good hard look at how you're spending your time. I know you're busy. You don't have time to work on time management. Well, the alternative to making time for it is that you can keep on doing what you're doing and you'll keep getting the results that you've been getting. If you know you need to work on it, then get started working on it. If you're waiting until you have some free time to figure out how you're going to free up your time, well, you're fighting a losing battle. Second, you must develop habits and systems that work in your favor. Once you take a good hard look at how you're spending your days, you need to become a master at organizing the blocks of time that are under your control. Most of us allow distractions such as email and phone calls and other people to dominate our time. We end up feeling like our time is really not up to us. The author points out that block scheduling, setting up boundaries, and working on the most important things first will help you regain that feeling of being in control of your time. Now, I got so much out of this book that I could honestly just keep on going and make an hour-long video of all of the useful information that's in it, and I still wouldn't cover everything. But I'm going to save you some time and provide you a link to the book so you can go buy it yourself. But now I want to hear from you. In the comment section below, let me know if you've read this book. What kind of impact did it have on you? Specifically, which of his ideas did you put into play in your own life? Also, I'd like to know if there's any other books like this that you've read that have helped you in this area. And finally, when it comes to time management, what are your biggest struggles? If you're willing to share those in the impactful community, let's see if we can help each other reclaim how we spend our time so that we can all lead a full life. That's it for this week's video. If you don't already subscribe, what are you waiting for? Click the button below to become part of our growing community. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Feel free to make an impact on someone else by sharing the video. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Also, please check out our website. You can follow our blog and subscribe to our monthly newsletter. All of those links are in the description below. If you can get control of how you spend your time, you will have a much better chance at making an impact and leading a full life. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Now go make an impact.